In his new Vogue interview Justin Bieber gets candid about his troubled past, admitting to his issues with sex and drugs. Around five years ago, when he was known for being a notorious partier and playboy, Justin reveals he started abusing anti-anxiety drugs Xanax, which enabled him to numb himself through social situations that, deep down, troubled him. I found myself doing things that I was so ashamed of, being super promiscuous and stuff, and I think I used Xanax because I was so ashamed," he told Vogue. My mom always said to treat women with respect. For me that was always in my head while I was doing it, so I could never enjoy it. Drugs put a screen between me and what I was doing. The singer seems to be happier than ever, now married to Haley Baldwin, 22 and planning a future with the Tommy Hilfiger model. But not that long ago it was a very different story for the pop icon, who was regularly in the media for various offenses, including a 2014 DUI charge after drag racing in Miami, urinating in a mop bucket, egging a neighbor's house, as well as having his capuchin monkey confiscated at customs in Germany. Justin, 24, told Vogue. A lot of the douchey things I was doing gave people the right to be like, man, that's frickin' douchey, bro. But a lot of the stuff was like, me peeing in a bucket, people made such a big deal of that. Or me owning a monkey. It's like, if you had the money that I had, why wouldn't you get a monkey? You would get a monkey. During the time he relied on Xanax, Justin admitted it got so bad that his team would check on him while he was sleeping to check he hadn't overdosed. It got pretty dark. I think there were times when my security was coming in late at night to check my pulse and see if I was still breathing. These days Justin says that he drinks alcohol socially but hasn't taken any drugs since 2014 when, at his lowest point, good friend and Hillsong pastor Carl Lentz took the singer for a detox at his home in New Jersey for a few weeks. The duo would play basketball hockey and soccer and Justin spent time refocusing on his faith. But inevitably the constant grind of making music and touring took its toll on the singer's mental health and in 2017 he decided to quit his purpose tour. I got really depressed on tour, he revealed. I haven't talked about this, and I'm still processing so much stuff that I haven't talked about. I was lonely. I needed some time. Justin admits it's been hard for him to trust people over the years. I've struggled with the feeling that people are using me or aren't really there for me, and that writers are looking to get something out of me and then use it against me. One of the big things for me is trusting myself. I've made some bad decisions personally, and in relationships. The company singer says that his experiences have destroyed his confidence in his own judgment and even affected his relationship with Haley which he's still working on. During the joint interview Justin and Haley reveal that they decided to abstain from sex before they married in a New York courthouse in September last year. Prior to rekindling his romance with the blonde beauty in June, the Love Yourself hitmaker admits he had a legitimate problem with sex and was more than a year into a self-imposed sex ban when he reconnected with her. Not having sex, Justin explains, was his way of feeling closer to God. He doesn't ask us not to have sex for him because he wants rules and stuff, Justin says. He's like, I'm trying to protect you from hurt and pain. I think sex can cause a lot of pain. Sometimes people have sex because they don't feel good enough. Because they lack self-worth. Women do that, and guys do that. I wanted to rededicate myself to God in that way because I really felt it was better for the condition of my soul. And I believe that God blessed me with Haley as a result. There are perks. You get rewarded for good behavior. He added, When I saw her last June, I just forgot how much I loved her and how much I missed her and how much of a positive impact she made on my life. I was like, Holy cow, this is what I've been looking for. 